Just as he does every week, Johannes Bendel arrives to play some crib and socialize with a friend. Hello, Malcolm. Hello there. Come on in. This is part of the volunteering program through the North Peace Seniors Housing Society. Johannes wanted to become involved as a way to connect with the community. I think I heard about the option for volunteering on the radio oh. and uh, yeah, in an ad and I was interested in sort of volunteering and getting involved in my community because um, up until this point I'd always been very busy with school and work and never really had the time. I found out that uh, he enjoyed crib and I had played crib with my grandparents when they were still alive so that's where I learned how to play and we pretty much most nights that I'm here we play crib and other nights we last, last week we put the puzzle together yeah this puzzle right here together we put together last week so the two men who have a little age gap have found much in common including the reason that brought them both to the energetic city. A relative of mine told me, asked me if I wanted some work and I said yeah, so I come up here to work in the flood area in 1963. Amazing, you must have seen a lot of change, I would imagine. Oh, oh yeah, this was just a little town then. Still had board sidewalks. And dirt roads and everything, right? <laughs> oh yeah. You know, Fort St. John really is unique in to lots of other places in the country and you don't really understand all the sort of industrial activity and how what life really is like until you actually come up here. And a similar story can be heard from Christy Schilling, the volunteer coordinator. Having grown up in Nanaimo and then moving up north for employment, she too enjoys the company of seniors. I just feel like seniors, they always have so much to teach you and you can just learn so much from them and I really like listening to their lives and the obstacles that they've faced and it puts my own generation in perspective a lot. It is up to her sense who may mesh well together when pairing up the seniors with her dedicated volunteers. Well, I met Malcolm in December of 2012 and I matched him up with Johannes, I want to say in January. And they play crib together, watch TV together, they're really consistent on meeting. They really enjoy each other's company and it's, it's just really nice to see. It's nice to see someone Johannes' age volunteering with Malcolm and it's nice to see what they both get out of it. As Malcolm lost his beloved wife, Ruth, just a day before their 50th wedding anniversary in November, he has a lot of free time, and he says Johannes' company helps fill it up. At times here, the, the evenings are so long, and with, with him here, while well, it breaks it there, it's, it's not like being in jail. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to make me laugh when I'm like this. <laughs> The volunteer program, which just started on a trial basis, has now been extended. Christy is thrilled for both the seniors and the volunteers. Well, I think it's important for people to know what a difference it can make in someone's life to have that one extra person to talk to and that one extra friend or social connection. Um, there is a research study that was just brought up on Global News recently, and they said that it has shown that people who are lonely are actually more likely to die sooner. And she has seen firsthand the effect it can have. I think every person has the potential to make a difference in someone's life. And a lot of people might think, I'm just one person, I don't have the time, but it's only an hour a week and it makes all the difference. So do you guys have a pretty good friendship, do you think, now? Well, I think it's so. I don't know what he thinks. <laughs> I think we get along pretty well, yeah. That's fabulous.